Adding captions to a video into Descript is really easy and better yet, highly customizable. Let's take a look. I'm in the Descript desktop app. The web app looks exactly the same. I have this chunk from a recent video where I'm talking, then I play a video that has another character talking and then it comes back to me talking. To add captions, I'll just come over here to the right where it says captions, click on that little button, and then it gives me a whole bunch of different presets of captions that I can pick from. As you hover over any preset, you can get a preview of how it's going to behave and what it's going to look like when you apply it to your video. You've got presets that add a new word one at a time. You've got presets that put a background color behind the active word or that change the color of the active word. There's green, there's yellow, and you can always change that. You've also got captions presets that add a waveform at the bottom. You've got the classic caption with no color changes or active word distinction. You've got bold captions like this two word caption style. You've got the one word at a time style, a skewed preset if you want things on an angle. The modern yellow preset, really simple, single line, nice and bold white letters with a black outline. Active word turns yellow. But there's some other fun options too, like the circle waveform where you have the captions or subtitles, but you also have this waveform, the circular waveform going on right behind it. This karaoke preview style is really good for understanding what some of the options are that you can adjust here because you have the active word, the word that's actually being spoken at that second. And in this case, the active word is white with a blue background. But you also see there's some other differences there. The words that are coming up that haven't been spoken yet are in sort of a gray color and the words that have already been spoken are in white, but they don't have a background. If I want to start with the karaoke preview, I just click it. And now these captions are applied to my entire video. Now up at the top, I could have said this scene instead of all scenes, but I only have one scene in this video, so it really wouldn't matter anyway. So I didn't bother with changing that. All right, let's see how that looks. So how did it do when I regenerated the video with the base prompt of the boy is speaking to the camera and included the negative prompt warped low quality and distortion? Come on. Let's go ride the roller coaster. It came out just fine, but maybe I want to make some changes. Click this captions button over here to turn off that panel and give me more room. Go ahead and make the script a little bit smaller. Over in the left of my script, I'm going to drop my cursor just a few words away from the start. That way I'll be able to see what spoken words look like, what the active word looks like, and what the upcoming words are looking like. To make changes, I'll just click on the captions. You can change the font, the font weight, the font size. The first color that you see is going to be these words over here, what's already been spoken. To change that, just click the little color swatch, pick a color, close that out, and now our already spoken words are this blue color instead of the white. The next button, the one that says custom, that is the style. Our style is custom because we're using a preset that's a modified karaoke style, the karaoke preview. We're going to skip this custom button for just a second. This next color is the fill color of the active word. It's currently white. If you want to change that, click the swatch pick the color you want and there you go now our active word is yellow the next color is our active word background color it's currently that light blue that's similar to our already spoken word color if we want to change that click the swatch pick whatever color we want from here and if you want to pick a color out of your video just click that little dropper and go find the color that you want the next option is text alignment by default that is on center for this one if you click that it just switches to right or left we'll stay center the effects, animation, and the three dots are all going to take you to the same place. They're just going to open this properties panel over here on the right for the layer, which is the caption layer. Here you can set the opacity for the entire captions layer and work with a lot of the options that we have in this mini toolbar right above the captions. I'm going to close out this properties panel by just clicking this layer button. Coming back to this custom button, we'll click that. We get a little preview of what we have going on right here. We can adjust the fill, the border, the background, and this is different than the active word background. So we click the plus button here. We've added a background. You can see it in the preview. You can see it in the actual video behind the preview. You can choose from box or hug lines. And that really comes into play if you have multiple lines of captions that are different lengths. We'll just stick with box, but let's change that background color. How about if we just make it a really dark gray, maybe? By the way, I'm doing some pretty ugly stuff here. It's not that I'm saying this is at all aesthetically pleasing. I'm just using all these different colors to be able to show you the distinction between each of the elements. So we did our box background in dark gray. We have our fill color and our background color for the active word. You can see that in the preview here. And then future words. Currently, those are a light gray. If we click on the swatch next to the fill color on that, we can see it's not really gray. It's technically it's white with a 19% transparency. So that white was our original 
original text fill color that we ended up changing to blue. So if we want to follow that blue theme that we got going on, but have it be a little bit more transparent, we can come down here and Descript gives us these one-click transparency swatches for these common colors. We'll select that, and maybe we ought to try and get this background color where the active word is. Maybe we ought to try and make that fit in a little bit better with what we got going on. So what if we make that white, click out of there, and then our fill color for our active word, let's change that up too. Let's make that a darker blue. Maybe that'll be a little bit less hideous to look at. All right, close that out. Now I'm gonna come back to the beginning. Let's play and see what this looks like. So how did it do when I regenerated the video with the base prompt of the boy is speaking to the camera and included the negative prompt warped low quality and distortion? Come on. Now what if we want different caption styles for different speakers? So I want my captions to look like this when I'm talking, but when the kid's talking, I want something completely different. By default, the captions will apply to every speaker in your video. The first thing we need to do is turn off these captions, this caption style, for when kid two is talking. So let's hit the three dots. That brings up the layer properties for the captions. The top item that says type captions, right next to it is settings. We'll click that and it says speaker, active speaker. Drop that down and I only want these captions to appear for Bob, so I'll click Bob. Now if I scrub through, I can see the captions that we created for me. And then when the kid starts talking, no captions. And by the way, if you don't see the timeline down here, Descript by default opens that up as hidden. Every time you come into the project, just hit show timeline in the bottom left. You'll be able to see what you're working with. I can't imagine editing video without a timeline. I'm not sure why that's hidden by default, but that's a rant for another day. So now we need to add a caption style for when our other speaker is talking. Come over to the right and click captions. Pick the style that you want to use for the other speaker. I'll go with the bold italic green. Then come back to layer. You can also click the three dots on the mini tool menu above the captions to get to the captions layer. The settings are right next to the captions type. Instead of active speaker, we're going to drop that down. And the name of that speaker in this project is Kid2. Close that, get that layer properties window out of our way, scrub through the timeline, that's the original style that we created and then assigned to me, and then it switches to the second style we created that we applied to the kid. And then it goes back to the style that I assigned to Bob. In your timeline, you can see that you have two different captions layers here. One of those caption layers is this new style we created for when the kid's talking, and the other one is the caption layer that we assigned to me. It might not be incredibly obvious which one you've selected in the timeline, but you can tell by looking at the mini tool menu that pops up above the captions when you select either of these. So I have the bottom one selected and I'm looking at these colors, the blues, I know that was the captions that were assigned to Bob. And if I click on this layer, I see the green, I know that's what was assigned to the kid. In this project we're working on here, I could really simply just drag in the caption layer for the kid to make it just just while he's speaking and make it a little more obvious, but that's not really practical when you have multiple interactions, speaker one and speaker two talking to each other over some period of time. It's kind of a pain to chop up those little chunks of captions. And that's why being able to assign different caption styles to different speakers and have the layer just be over the whole video works really well. Now, if you add one of the caption presets that has the waveform and you want that to apply only to one character, you are going to have to manually make that adjustment. I deleted the caption layer that was assigned to the kid here. So I'll come over to captions. I'll add this one that has a waveform. And in the timeline, you can see we have a captions layer and we have a waveform layer. Now in the captions layer, I can click the settings, switch it from active speaker to kid two, close that out. And if we scrub through, you see I've got the style that was assigned to me. Now I've got the yellow text that was assigned to the kid, but the waveform stays there for the whole thing. Even though I assigned the captions just to this kid, the waveform is sort of an extra. And the waveform does not give me an option to assign that just to a specific speaker. If I only wanted the waveform to show while this speaker was talking, I would have to manually do that by coming into the timeline and dragging the start and dragging the end to get it to only play the waveform while the other speaker is talking. If that's what you're going for, you might be better off to go ahead and split your video into scenes in the script panel to make it a lot easier. To do that, let's go ahead and get rid of the waveform. Let's get rid of the captions, both of them. Turn off this layer panel and look over here in our script. This forward slash is the beginning of a scene. That's saying new scene. There's only one of those in this script and there's only one thumbnail over in the scene rail. To split this into scenes, I can just drop in where I want to make the split. I'll just come in here at the end of where I'm talking, click in there. I'm going to hit enter to give me a little bit of space. 
You can click the forward slash button here to add a scene, or you can just type forward slash on your keyboard. That'll create the new scene. Then at the end of the kid talking, I'll click there. I'm gonna hit enter to get myself a new line, forward slash and new scene. Now that it's split up into scenes, come over to captions. Let's say I wanted karaoke preview for when I'm talking. I'll click that and add it. I had this set on all scenes and that's fine because I can adjust when it shows by speaker. And since I'm in multiple scenes, I think that'll be a little bit quicker. So I'll switch back to layer. Now notice the default is current scene. I want to switch that to all scenes so that I'll be editing this captions layer across all scenes. Click the settings under active speaker, drop that down, switch that to Bob, close that out. Now, if we scrub through, we've got the captions when I'm talking, the captions go away when the kid's talking, the captions are back. Great. That's exactly what we had and what we wanted. Now let's go back here into our scene two, which you can get to by clicking it in the timeline or by selecting it in the scene rail or by clicking somewhere in the script within that scene. I'll just click here where the kid starts talking, go back to captions. And now instead of leaving this set on all scenes, I'm going to click the this scene button. Now I'll click the preview that has the yellow text and the waveform. And you can tell in the timeline, it has only applied these captions to this scene with this kid talking. If we scrub through, you can see the style we assigned to me. Then the kid has this different style with the waveform. Now in this video, there's only one little spot where a different speaker, that kid is speaking. So that's pretty easy. If you had a back and forth dialogue, I think that would be kind of a pain to change it for each and every scene. So you might want to just stick with either waveform for everything or waveform for nothing. And what if your captions aren't right? What if they're landing in the wrong place or skipping words? Well, in the script, the captions are all tied to the transcript. And the transcript or the script is what you see over in this left panel. But the alignment of the script or the words with the video, that is visualized down here in the timeline. Let me zoom in quite a bit so that we can see that a bit better. The waveform is at the bottom and then right above it are the words that are associated with those noises. Now the script uses AI to create this transcript and it is not perfect. For instance, here in my video, I see that there's me talking and this spot here is gray. Obviously something's being said, but Descript doesn't know what it was. In Kling and a few, it didn't miss any words there. It just didn't align Kling and with Kling and. Because of course the way I said it was Kling and yeah. Right, so let's move this playhead out of the way. We'll go to where we have this word gap and then Kling starts. As I hover over that line, I get the double arrows, hold down on the control key, and then drag that backward. And now it recognizes that this is the word cling and the word and starts there. I'm not getting too far in the weeds with that. The point is that the transcript drives the captions. And as far as the sync or alignment, you adjust that down in the timeline. If you just need to make a simple change to how something is spelled or the punctuation, just select the word in your script. This little menu will pop up above it, click correct. And I can change like the period after fun to an exclamation point, correct. And now it'll be fixed in my transcript and it'll also be fixed in my captions. I've made lots of other videos on how to do things in Descript. Please check them out. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.